what should be my ideal equity allocation how much exposure should i give to equity investment to help you get answers to such investment quest we have our industry expert mr hariyaran with us hariyaran could you please help us get a better understanding on this we t- talk of mix of assets and therefore uh, when we talk of asset allocation it's important to have different asset classes in your portfolio and there are three broad categories that one could definitely look at investing equities debt and gold i am keeping real estate aside because real estate buying a first house itself is a challenge for many of us therefore from an investment perspective it may not be everybody's cup of tea and therefore i am excluding that but equity debt gold everybody can participate so what it talks about is if you are an aggressive investor in terms of your risk appetite you can take a substantially big amount of exposure to equity so here in this graph it is 75% exposure to equity 15% exposure to debt and 10% exposure to gold now if you are a moderate investor then also you need to have all the three asset classes the mix is different you will have 45 45 both equity and debt and 10% will be gold and if you are a conservative investor the equation changes it just flips compared to aggressive 75 becomes debt 15 becomes equity 10 becomes gold now irrespective of whether you are aggressive moderate conservative the learning is that we need to have all the asset classes in our portfolio okay that's very important and now therefore based on your risk profile you know that what is my maximum allocation to that particular asset class now when i say 75 you can have a buffer of 5 10% here and there that's okay but many a times we find that people call themselves aggressive investors but majority of the money is lying in fixed deposits just to give you some numbers only 4% investors actually invest in mutual funds and even if we assume 90% of the money is in equities we are talking of 3 and 1/2 crores people crore people in india who is actually investing in equities through mutual fund thanks for your detailed answer if you have any doubt regarding this or any other financial or investment decision don't hesitate to book an appointment with our financial expert the link to the appointment is given in the description below and also would you like to know more about finance and investment then we would recommend you to attend our live webinar the link to the webinar is also given in the description below the webinar is absolutely free if you like this video hit like and if you are new to our channel please do subscribe